this jury. And then you have, in addition, three individuals who say close family members, spouse, parents, in-laws, are lawyers as well. So that's nearly half your jury of people who... I would expect as a baseline, have some respect for the law and have a sense of how it goes. I mean, even the people who are close family members, I'm guessing you have some experience with this, Chris, but lawyers, when they go home, tend to still talk about the law in their day. And so, you know, they have some sense of how this is supposed to work and that you respect the judge and listen to the judge's orders. You would respect counsel. You'd respect a jury. So if he starts acting up and being really disruptive, I think at the, at a minimum, those jurors are going to really not like it. Uh, on the other hand, you also have five women on this jury. Um, they're not going to like this case. They're going to have the transcript of that Access Hollywood tape that, you know, you, you can do whatever you want. Yep. They'll let you do whatever you want, grab them by the... Right. You know, they're going to hate that. I mean, I remember having a trial where the defendant had an extramarital affair, and there were 11 women on the jury. And when that evidence came out of that extramarital affair, you could see the look of disgust on those female jurors. And, like, that didn't go well for that defendant, and I don't think this is going to well, go well for Donald Trump. One of the things going into this trial is sort of question of it as, you know,